Welcome to the review of Unit 3, Nightmare at Sea. Uh, foreign fishing vessels are known to engage in illegal fishing due to the lawlessness of the region. Uh, this has forced a lot of uh, local fishermen uh, who find it hard to compete in the area uh, to turn to a life of crime. Case in point, uh, one of the vessels that suffered kidnappings had 30 West African crew members on board and about five Korean crew members, but only one West African was kidnapped. It's likely that the attackers singled out the Koreans because they thought they could get more money for them. It's also likely that they based it on targeting foreign individuals who should not have been in their waters. Single out. Single out. On this point, at least the Korean government agrees, and they have um, strongly cautioned all, any Korean nationals from going to that area. As of February 2022, it will actually be illegal to do so. The Korean government cannot afford to keep bailing out people again and again who go there and get into trouble. Bail out. Bail out. Do you think that there is maybe a problem with just agreeing to pay ransoms to kidnappers as opposed to trying to set them free. I mean, it's kind of that age-old question, right? Once you start paying for a ransom, then mm -hmm. those people, those attackers, those pirates, what have you, will uh, see as a guaranteed way to make money and they'll continue to uh, kidnap and hold people hostage. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what the right answer is. Why do you think the uh, hijackers targeted the Koreans? Um, yeah, I think it's like the article mentioned, probably they stuck out as a people uh, who were not usually in that area. Mm -hmm. And so they thought uh, maybe they are from a kind of rich Asian country and we can get some good money for them. Yeah, yeah, I would agree with that. That's going to do it for Unit 3. Thank you very much, everybody, and goodbye.